Lesson seven, insurance. Okay, so Uber does require insurance, compulsory third party uh, and personal injury insurance. Um, and also they require some sort of comprehensive insurance which covers both your car and a third party car in an accident. Now these are different obviously in different parts of the world. Make sure that you are aware of what insurance you require beforehand depending on your region or your location. Uh, in Australia it's, it's reasonably standard. You might also want third party property insurance which is a little bit cheaper than comprehensive insurance and it covers only your the third party's car in an accident, not your car, okay? So just think about if you actually um, get in an accident and your car is off, um, off the road for one, two, three, four weeks, how much money are you going to lose um, if, if you can't afford to fix your car, okay? So hence the reason why you wanna compare your comprehensive to third party property insurance. You wanna maybe consider what's the value of your car. Is it a cheap car? Is it worth insuring? Um, is it not worth insuring? Um, are you gonna use it full time or part time? Um, and how much money obviously are you gonna lose after an accident if, um, if your car's off the road. Also, the replacement vehicle requires your name on the insurance policy to register with you, you Uber. So even if you do have a, an insurance policy that has a replacement vehicle, you probably can't use it anyway to, to use it as an Uber vehicle. Um, you might wanna check on that as well, but don't count that the replacement vehicle is going to be able to be used as an Uber vehicle because then they have to inspect it, you've got to be on the insurance, etc, etc. Okay, make sure you check a few things with the insurance before you buy it. E.g., does my insurance cover the cost of a third party vehicle or is it up to a limit? Some insurance policies only cover the third party vehicle up to a certain value, okay? So if you wreck a Mercedes, it's gonna cost more than $5,000. Whereas if you wreck a, if you scrape up against a Honda, uh, it'll probably be a little bit cheaper than that. Does your insurance also cover ride sharing services? Okay, it's worthwhile asking that. There are some insurance companies that actually specialize in this area. Also, it pays to shop around, okay? Get the best deal. Use an insurance comparison website. Get at least three or four. Get an understanding of how much each of them cost and what they actually cover. Ask the person on the phone before you buy it. They've got to tell you what the insurance actually covers. All right, so who has the best insurance at UberX as a regular passenger service? All right, you've got to check that out. Uber Eats is another feature of Uber, delivery of food, is it covered under that? So ask that question of your insurance company. Uber Assist is for disabled, okay? Ask them, are they covered as well, okay? Make sure you do your research.